Target locked. Boy, I'm so excited. I've completed all my Haley parts. It's time to finally complete her. That was such a full fulfilling and most fun I've ever had playing a game ever. Let's get her started. Oh, there she is. Let's go. Let's go. What? What? What was that? It was all a dream? It was all a dream? Why wasn't it like that for real? Why was it literally the worst thing I've ever experienced in my life? Let's break it down. Why did they do this? Uh, essentially, it's people complained about the amorphous patterns and they didn't like the RNG. It was taking too long to unlock things. They were having horrible luck. And yes, I will give it to them that they came up with a new method um, and they tied it into the season one mechanic that of the invasions that they you know wanted us to be excited about. But is this any better? <laughs> Not at all. And here's why. As you can see, I'm indeed crafting Haley and it took from season one dropping until now or rather last night for me to get all the pieces and all the materials and get crafted and today I started actually crafting her whole spiel all together. Could I have done this quicker? Yes, um, but I was dealing with a really bad head cold. My family's been dealing with a bad head cold off and on for the past couple weeks. So there were some days where my head was just so pounding. I didn't want to deal with the puzzles. Uh, I didn't want to grind the, the extra dungeons to get the pieces. Um, so I, I did it in my own time. People have done it faster. There, I've seen a video out there that a guy timed himself grinding it the entire time of grinding it. And it took like 16 hours. And that was before they, you know, did it. That was after I think they did the first buff to her drops, but not the most recent one. Um, but what I don't understand is they got rid of, they were trying to, you know, make people happy that they were upset about the amorphous pattern drops, but you were still down to pure random luck once you got close to being done with her. Uh, they didn't, the drops don't come at a set, uh, you know, rarity or anything it's you have equal chance 25 percent chance to get any of her four different drops when you run the dailies and then you can go and run the extra two dungeons for each part that were dedicated to that and you have a random chance to get one of those drops from the end boss and while they made dungeons a lot better because they increased the experience that you get from them and so a lot of people are doing dungeons by doing that and beating into us that Haley's unlock is through the invasions and through dungeons, they completely took away any reason to do the Colossi or, or infiltrations or anything else in the game. They completely took season one and said, dungeons. Forget about everything else. Because you're not getting anything of meaningful to go do the other things. You still get the amorphous patterns for running the dungeons, yes, but then you have no reason to then go do the Colossi to then get the parts. And with the amorphous patterns, you at least always had a chance to get something useful. You could have every game, you could have every or every gun, every descendant. You could have them all maxed out, da 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 da, but you still had a chance to get a catalyst or an energy stabilizer blueprint, and those would be useful because you always need more of those. Well, energy is, you know, a limited thing, but you could always use more catalysts, crystallation catalysts. So, how is this in any way better? Okay, you you make us only grind dungeons, which you did make great, great experience, both for descendants and uh, guns with the changes that you made in season one towards dungeons. But you therefore then took out all the other modes of the game for anyone to want to do because there was no reason to do it for season one. Let's not get into you know, the horrendous, you know, uh, start of, in, of of the invasions where, you know, it 
a lot of people were having troubles completing it because they weren't building a tanky build, da 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 da, da. or you know, you know, having all these new symbols uh, that people were making up different terms for. You had to make up the own terms in your mind for the symbols. They have made great changes to those through these hot fixes over the last couple of weeks, to where those are good in a good spot. I think um, there's only one thing that I don't agree with, and that is with the code drones with the towers the enemies all disappear when you attempt one of the codes and then if that took out a lot of drops of health stamina and ammunition for people because they just dis walk off and fade off rather than getting killed by the pulse of the thing going off now i understand pe you know they were doing it because people were saying well while i'm trying to guard this spot um i'm getting killed in the process so there's no protection um and yeah not not all descendants have ways to do aoe around themselves and and they, so like every character can do it but it did take away a lot of the health drops stamina drops and ammo drops that those enemies would have been doing otherwise um other than that they seem in a good spot i think characters all characters are able to do them now um, I, but now I'm going to pull a meme with this, with how I'm doing it, because this is exactly how it makes me feel who thought in there and they're working on changes, but who in their mind, right mind that it was a good idea to put single player content in a multiplayer game. Who, who? Who in their right mind thought it would be a good idea to put single player content in a multiplayer game? Now, not everyone has friends to play with. There's a matchmaking system, okay? And they're going to have to make some changes because, as another example, with the tower and code, tower code and drone explosion thing, people are going to just go in there and, and be buttholes and detonate things for no reason just to kill everybody. So that's going to have to be changed for multiplayer. And, you know, I had I had a very good group of people to play with. I had a nice little group of people to play with. And then they saw season one and they just immediately said, no, I don't want I don't want anything to do with it. It's single player content in a multiplayer game was the one thing that I couldn't convince people to, to give it a try because single player content. Please, for the love of God, or anything that you believe in, anything, I'll include anything you want to pray to, uh, you know, you know, anything. Do not make Ultimate Frame of the same unlock method. Do not have it anything remotely close to this unlock method. It is not good in any sense, because like I've stated... You put all focus into one aspect of the game. Dungeons. Dungeons, dungeons, dungeons. Grind the crap out of these dungeons and you'll get Haley. Or, you know, pull out your credit card and swipe it. Which a lot of people ended up just doing because they didn't want to actually do this. I have I have a friend that he he's he's working on his third set because he, he doesn't mind the grind. He's working on his third set of Haley parts, which are all completely useless. And yes, we're getting a trader for it, but we don't know what that trader is going to give us for these parts. But until then, these are all useless and he's got it even worse, uh, to, of like, he's got, he's already got three parts worth of one, but he's still only on part two of another, you know, piece because you're not guaranteed to get the pieces that you want. I I got two of the pieces done, and I an entire day I had the the data chip and I think the reinforced cell DNA done. I didn't need any more. The entire day of invasions, a day's worth of the four missions. Guess what I got? Two drops of the data chip and two drops of the reinforced cell DNA. I didn't need those anymore. So my entire day of invasions was wasted other than the gold that I got, which is great. Gold is great. And that they finally, you know, reworked this to where it's useful. This was terrible uh, deployment of the start of season one. No, 
it had positives, but the negatives that were so huge that no one in their right mind would want to use these, but now they're actually good, and these should be included in people's ideas for builds and give us, you know, a nice variety. So thank you for fixing this. This is good. If you want to tweak it more, make it even better, sure. But this is fine right now. This is fine. Season one, this is great. This, uh, you know, it gives some incentive to do the dailies because you are you get some variety. You can get uh, shield, max shield buffs for people that want shields. That, for like Kyle and, and poss you know, Enzo. You can get more MP for people like Luna, whose entire build scales off her MP. Uh, you can get more uh, defense for which Ajax's rework is great as well. He, and most of his scuff scales off defense majority. Great. All these are great. They're they're usable. They're great. Don't do the Haley unlock. Don't do it. Because I don't think I could do it again. Come go back to patterns. Because like I said, you're in every every pattern piece that you look for, you look up a pattern... This is this is this is a huge detriment to the gameplay of the game. You look up any piece, you go let's just randomly type in Kyle Bloop or code. You got four options for Kyle code. Some of them are uh well all these are from uh infiltrations, but you could have infiltrations, you got dungeons, you you got options. It, it spread it out. People were playing all aspects of the game, but season one, like I've stated a few times, dungeons with a huge emphasis on single player content that I don't understand how anyone thought this was a good idea. Like the dream at the start of this video, did they expect people to actually feel that way that they felt fulfilled and enjoyed their time of doing it? I did not. I did not, I am fine with grinding, but I got to the point where I was not enjoying myself. So thank you for attending this TED talk and my rant. And, but please don't have, ult if you, if Ultimate Freyna is anything close to this, it might be the death of the game. I, 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 <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Bye bye now. Thank you for watching this video on the first descendant. If you like what you've seen, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Lieutenant Sheik, and this target has been destroyed.